This is Jason Wells with PGC Basketball. Most players only play when this is in their hands, which is why most players aren't great athletes. You want to learn how to play without this in your hands. So we're going to talk about rim runs today and the importance of it. Do you have to be a post player to rim run? Absolutely not. You want to talk about creating advantages. The first advantage that it creates is it gives you the opportunity to score uncontested layups. No offense needed for uncontested layups. Push the ball up the floor, put as much pressure on the defense as quickly as possible, shoot uncontested layups. The second advantage it creates is mismatches. I'm six foot eight. I get down here. You think about most people that are back on defense, they're guards. Tyler, come in here for a second, please. I'm running the floor. I got Tyler guarding me now. I catch with this deep position. There's not much he can do. I turn and I get directly into my shot. Guards are back protecting the basket. Most of the time, if you're running the floor at any position, you can create mismatches down here. Thanks, Tay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. The third thing that it creates is it creates opportunities for paint touches. Coaches love paint touches, but most of the time we only talk about paint touches in the half court offense. When you're getting the ball down here on a rim run, advance the ball, whether it's directly from your guard or through your wing, get the ball in here, it's an automatic paint touch. Paint touches cause problems. It makes the defense collapse and it opens up space on the perimeter. The fourth advantage that it creates is exactly what we just talked about. It gives your shooters the opportunity to have space to be able to shoot. I run the floor, I draw my attention. Matter of fact, let's not even say it's me. Let's say it's Giannis or let's say it's Anthony Davis. Those guys run the floor. Them cutting through the paint without the ball is going to draw attention, leaving their shooters open. So four things again. You want to make sure you're creating layups. You want to make sure you're creating mismatches. You want to get paint touches as quickly as possible. And you want to open up that space for those shooters. If you rim run and you don't get the ball, that doesn't mean that you're not a threat anymore. Let's talk about three different seals that you can do to still become a threat down here in the paint. The first one, we call it a step seal. So I am literally going to come through, I'm going to lift Tyler's arm up, and I'm just going to sit and seal and ask for the ball and score. We'll call that a step seal. The second one, we'll call it a spin seal. So I'm literally coming down, stepping right in between my defender's legs and now turning for the ball. And now again, I go up into my shot. And the third one, which my guy Kevin Love uses a lot, is a wedge. Tyler's still the defender. This is my basket. And instead of running all the way to the rim, I'm just going to hold Tyler off and have that guard make a great pass, keeping space between my defender and the basket. Three different ways to seal. Step, spin, wedge. If today's video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button down below and make sure you leave a comment.